I have time for the hospitality. Our pleasure. You okay. have very beautiful eyes. Thank ah. you so much. This is your heart. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look at Grumpy. What's the matter with you, mate? I am actually a little bit lost. I'm quite away. I've lost. <laughs> you got to leave this in the blog. He says he don't want to go back. I did. Yeah. I did. I recommend this. To be honest, uh, a little bit dangerous. Wine house. Wine. Wine house. Wine. I just want to see where he's left. Yeah, no legs. No legs, it's the range. Okay, okay. So they're uh, about £4,000 yeah. uh, value yeah. in Turkey. Yeah. Huh? Okay. What? Okay, lock it. Just get in. What? You for us? <laughs> no problem. Oh. Guys, that was hell of a landing. Bang. Look, you can touch this one. What? Getting attacked by bees. I'm going to push along a bit here. Something happened in there. Yep. Okay, we're back. We got back. Okay, uh, and the video is about to start now. Uh, we, we had a great time uh, in Turkey. It was only a week, uh, but we had a great time. And there was a lot of people asked for a little blog of it. And do you know what? It was absolutely no trouble at all to do it. But whenever I'd go off doing something, we'd just do a few clips and it's turned out, I mean, I haven't watched the video back. Those are some clips they picked out to put in. Um, I'm going to, as I'm doing, as I'm talking now, I'm going to watch through and then butt in when I need to with the clips that, that, that they put in. So I hope you enjoy it. As I say, it was no trouble. I, with all what's going on for us at the moment, I said to Tanya, I can't, Tanya, I can't do it till, till next week. And she's really got on to me and said, she's looking forward to seeing it. We're not waiting till next week. So I got up early this morning. So I'll run through this little uh, blog of our Turkey trip now and uh, hope you enjoy it. So we'll get straight on with it now, all right? A van, uh, a delivery van's just come. So something's come. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm being called into the living room. So as I'm finishing this off, you're gonna see what this is. Obviously it's something's been delivered. So we'll all right, I'm coming. So what is it then? Well, I've owned it, but Charlotte, I've only opened it so Charlotte can look in it. Yeah, look. Right, let's have a look. Oh. Sweets. Oh, is this, is this just been delivered now? This yeah. has literally just been delivered. There's no... Okay. Oh, there is a card, Mum. So who's it from? So we don't know yet. Oh, right. So we've got sweets. We love presents. <laughs> and we've got... Oh, Tanya. champagne. You've had enough of that on holiday. <laughs> Never have enough of that. Okay. So champagne and sweets. Well, this is the card. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, okay. Do you know who it is? Yes. The news. Simply the best. Thank you from Penelope, Romeo and Flash. Oh, the little pony. Oh, yeah, it's from Scotland. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Steve, Tanya, Charlotte, Jensen and Jasmine of Pembrokeshire have been voted Family of the Week by Penelope, who told the news, <laughs> saying it's my way of saying thank you very much uh, to you all for a great weekend. Romeo, Flash, Penelope, Gary and I have loved every minute of our mini holiday. Thank you all so, so much for all of your patience, knowledge and encouragement. We were made to feel very welcome Thanks, and at Penelope. home and we didn't want to leave. Penelope wants Jasmine and Jensen to go and stay with oh. them in Scotland. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. They Th stayed in the shepherd's hut. What's Thank that you so much for all uh, for the best weekend of learning with you all. Romeo, in particular, is looking more handsome these days and less grumpy faces. Oh, brilliant. Flash is on his way to standing still better too. We really enjoyed meeting you all. What great people you all are. A massive thank you to your lovely friends, Mel and Keith, for being super helpful too oh. and welcoming. Lots of love from Penelope, Romeo, Flash, Claire and Gary. Really? That's awesome. Mel, you've got a mention. Hey? <laughs> that is super duper helpful though, isn't she? Yes, yes. Right, okay, can I carry on and finish the video yeah. now? Well, hurry up because you've got a ride. Yes, yes. Sorry about that, guys. Now I can properly start the video. Okay, let's go. Right then. Yeah. So what we're off to today then? What horse we are? Yeah. yeah what horse we're going to see today? Well, Tanya, the only 
contraption I'll be uh, <laughs> riding today, riding on today, is this. <laughs> We're off to... Turkey! Your favourite place, Tan, or one of them? Uh, Ola Denise, we love Ola Denise. Ola Denise. Ola De Ola Ola Denise. What would you call it? Ola Denise. In Turkey, yeah. but it's been three years you've been wanting to get away. Three years. And today we fly. Is the day. Everything sorted at home? Yeah. Horses, check. check. Dogs, check. Cat, check. And that's James, Charlotte, and Mel. And they're all going to look after everything. So yeah. we can just chill, yeah? So here we are, guys. We are at Cardiff Airport. It's about an hour and a half from where we live. I was a bit younger then. Oh, yeah, no. But still looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Delayed. No, it's not. Yes, it is delayed. Oh, really? Oh, delayed. Oh. Now half past five instead of four o'clock. Oh, it could be worse, that. Not long to take photos, sir. <laughs> Love it. What's your favourite? Oh, favorite? No. oh dear. <laughs> it's the best I've smelled for a while. <laughs> you always smell lovely. Tanya, it's not bad for airport food, is it? What do you think? Steak and our pie. <laughs> Midnight now. In what? Turkey. Midnight in Turkey. Is that 10 o'clock in England? Yeah. That's 10 o'clock UK. Well, it's, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Quite a long day, but we're here. Bell checkers. What is that? So, yeah, it's lovely. We're here. Middle of the night. Hi, oh, yeah, fella. Checking in, Tom. Checking in. Checking in time. Checking in yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Have a shout in. Bell checkers. Bell checkers. <laughs> this one. Yes. This room. This one. This one. Oh, oh, my God. Can okay. I take okay. that? Thank you. It's for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Okay, yes, I'm ready. Don't worry now. It's fine. Okay, you can. <laughs> Any bath, Tan? No bath for me. No bath. No bath. Oh, we got a shower. Nice big shower, Tanya. Nice big shower. Eh? Hey? Yes. Get a couple of couple of people in there. <laughs> You'll be lucky. Okay, guys. So it's ten o'clock on the morning for this morning. And what a gorgeous day. Just look at it. Just walked out here to see the pool, how the pool's doing. And that's fantastic. I think I'm in the entertainment area. Yeah. Well, we've had nothing to eat since I don't know when. So Tanya's up in the restaurant and we've got there now. Rose flavoured jam and Turkish delight. When in Turkey. It's been quite a while since I walked down these steps. Oh, one's coming in, is it? Oh, look at that. So we'll come out on the frontier, coming out the hotel. This is why uh, Tanya loves us so much. Come out and basically that is. That is old Here's the paragliders and these are the landing, these are the landing spots, there's the hotel, yeah, and this is where all day long, all evening, right around people, <laughs> you have to keep looking overhead 
and sometimes yeah. they land on the beach. Yeah, and that's where they come from. I don't know how much you're going to see up there. You see them right the up sun, there? You've got the sun looking at the sun. Yeah, that's where they take off up there. And Oh, look over there to the right. What's that? See that bed at the front there? Uh, My name on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good landing. There he is. Hey. Was it a she? Yeah, she did good. Okay. And there's the strip, not Las Vegas. No, unfortunately. Genuine fakes. Genuine fakes. <laughs> Tanya will be having. I don't really like that. I might, might have a massage. And we are discussing. Oh yeah, you can go to all different beaches. All different, I mean, I love the old sites, the history. There's an old site there. I think this is quite local. Uh, this, this is me. I know. Oh, you having, I thought you were having a Turkish bath. That's a, uh, yeah, Turkish bath. Uh, Turkish okay. bath. Turkish bath. Very rare to see him sitting in the sun, to be fair. Yeah. See? Give that, thank you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so basically good, aren't they? Thanks, fella. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm too white to film. No so, we've just come back and what did you do earlier, Tanya? You said we were cold I said, last night. Yeah, I said to the, to, the, to the maid, I said, oh, I was so cold. And she laughed. Yeah. So she gave us duvets. So oh, I gave right. her a lovely tip. And she's just done that for us. She's just shaking it, being kind. Oh, uh, you know Look what? At that. Yeah. Awesome. Lovely. All right, okay. So we're off now to Hirasana. Hisarana. Hisarana. Right. right then, waiting for Tanya now. So this is our little balcony and right outside our balcony we got peaches I think. Peaches. Peaches look. I can't reach. <laughs> They're just out of reach. Oh they can reach them. Amazing. Look at that there. Throw his arms now. Almost a standstill. That's a good landing. Is Tanya looking for me, look? Wondering where I am? I'll wave now. She's found me. <laughs> Bab. Cocktails, blue lagoon, and bell checks. Did you buy them or me? No, I, I, I splashed out. It's all inclusive, darling. <laughs> we don't need to. So here's our hotel bar. How lovely! Just sit, sit here, get free drinks all day. Well, we just have them in the evening, and then that's our view. That's where we just sit here and take it all in. Isn't it? That looks good. Best in the world, right? <laughs> Best in Turkey. <laughs> Thank you. Try it, Antonia. Oh, oh, that's a bit close. Try it. Blimey, that's scary. What is that? Nectar. Is it really nice? Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so coconutty. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. I've got my thumb in front. <laughs> Greeter next. Oh, is it? Oh, you're going to get me drunk <laughs> no, tonight. No, I'm not. <laughs> you are. I know that look. You're beaming. Really? Yes, you need to put a bit of sun cream on tomorrow. Oh, I don't like sun cream. 
Don't look here. It's like I'm going out with a lobster. Oh, I have caught the sun. <laughs> well, you've caught the sun as well. Oh, you have. <laughs> what are you doing, Tan? Oh my god. Everywhere we go, they come to me, don't they? Everywhere oh. you go, hey baby. the cats are in tow. <laughs> She's off again. It's getting more ham for the cats. Look what's happened. It happens every time. <laughs> that one and that one. It happens every time. Everywhere we go. Millions of cats. Morning, guys. So, this is day three already. And we've just, me and Tanya just took a short taxi ride from basically Old Denise, which is over, over those, that tree line there. And Tanya is going to be on that little beach there. Special beach, special place she loves. I basically have done, I've done a couple of hours in the sun now and that's about me. But uh, so what we always agree to is Tanya will have her day there. Uh, which she really loves and there's all little fish in the sea when when they wade out and all of that and, uh, so i'm off on my adventure now i'll be gone for uh, probably most of the day now so i'm going on a coastal walk and it's not really a coastal walk it's like a hike really i've been a couple of times before and it is quite grueling the scenery is unbelievable um it's such an adventure for me to do this you've got to take water with you because people have uh, not made it <laughs> over there. So that's where I'm heading over those hills there um, So yeah So I've got to the start of the track and if I span up it's going up 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 and that's where we start Wow Okay guys, so this is the very first hill I've climbed the first one and this puts it into a little bit of perspective where I am so you can see all the boats down in Old Denise there. See in the distance? A bit shaky this is because I'm out of breath. And then you've got the mountains up there where they all take off with their paraglides. And then Tanya's down, down in that lagoon down there. But uh, guys, I don't want any, if anyone comes here and tries this, this trek, which is actually going to a place called Ghost Town, you'll see those clips in a minute, which is a thousand year old uh, abandoned or over a thousand year old abandoned village uh you know just left as it was and uh, that's where i'm heading so if anyone does this trip please take water make sure you're fit enough to do it i've done it twice before over the years and i know the dangers involved now i'm probably gonna encounter some snakes again big lizards i think there's hogs up here i've definitely seen a big something once rustle through the uh through, through the, the brush so with spiders going across the track that sort of put a big web across and things like that so you have to be wary of everything and the net other thing you have to know which is really important this is really important you have to follow these paint paint guides because you can get lost really easy and people have lost their lives up here so i'll do a couple of shots as we go over Excuse the hard breathing, but uh, I'm a couple of miles in and I'm going past this place here, look. I don't know how old it is, but I've been past it a couple of times before, years gone by, and I always get a horrid feeling. Always, I don't know what's happening in there. It's only a little place. Ooh, always get a horrible feeling. Summer's happening there, if you ask me, but uh, I'm always glad. Ooh. To get, uh, to get away from there. Just had a swarm of bees go over. Uh, the noise was virtually deafening. Um, and I know they've had some bad strains here over the years. So you can get attacked by them. Uh, there's not much scares me in this world. I'll be honest with you, if it's my time, it's my time. But that petrifies me, um, getting attacked by bees. So I'm gonna push along a bit here. There's the marks, and that's the path. <laughs> that's the path, guys. <laughs> There's some drop offs. I have to be really careful. If you drop off the edge of that, you're down there. So 
seriously. I'm about a third of the way now to my destination of the, the deserted city. And if you look in the distance there, you can just about see in the distance there, Aldenese. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm more pleased about my ankle not giving out than anything else at the moment. Um, very bad ankle injury I had. Uh, stepping down off a horse called Mac, actually. If anyone's not seen uh, Mac, it was, it was a return of the Mac. So he's a beautiful, beautiful grey horse. I bought, re restarted. Love that horse. We all did. Beautiful soul of a horse. If you get a chance, watch, watch a couple of the videos. He's sadly gone because of the dreaded um, melanomas, which a lot of grey horses have. So guys, I just popped those couple of clips in. I, I really do miss this horse. And to, we had him placed in the paddock. And you know what? The, the horses spent a lot of time around where he was uh, placed there. But a beautiful soul of a horse. And uh, do you know what? We only had him, I don't know, six months or whatever it was, six, eight months. And, you know, I'll never forget, forget that horse. Beautiful Mac. But I'm so pleased about my ankle. Uh, holding out that's great news for me gives me more confidence for getting on and off horses using it so yeah we'll carry on do that guys now, i'm not a philosopher in any way shape or form made too many mistakes to give people advice like that but uh, you know it's what you put into something what you get out very much like horsemanship and you know i t i've just put a lot of effort in i mean I i've got a half a litre of water left that was hard work for me and um but if I hadn't done it, I wouldn't be up here. I just feel amazing up here right now. On a path that's been used for thousands of years. No internet. Looking at these amazing views. And if you did, if you really did need urgent shelter or something, then there's a few of these on the way. Uh, I wonder how old that is. So you head down there, and then there's the prize, guys. There's the prize. Look at this. This is called Kakaya. Kakaya, I'm sure it's Kakaya. It's an abandoned village from a thousand years ago, if not more. And, and that's just as it would have looked. And that's the people who would have used the path I've just took. That's amazing. They call it Ghost Town. And there it is, I'm going to walk down there now. Look at that. Look at old people. These paths, guys. Same paths thousands of years ago. Not very easy to walk on, actually. Crikey, this is going to going back in time, isn't it? I hope you don't get rammed here. <laughs> so I made it here. I'm here. Chuffed a bit. A thousand calories. At least got to be, hasn't it? Um, and uh, I'm having the old Turkish shave tonight um, and all that what they do it's funny actually they put all they put wax uh, burn your ears and god knows where i'll say i better watch where i'm going here so i'm heading down there for a nice cup of coffee now right there so we've just got down to the bottom now and here's the old markets hello okay. no, thank you. Thank you. wow Okay, that was six kilometres in because it's six kilometres back to Old Denise. So six kilometres, mountain terrain to give you an idea whether you think you can uh, do that. One. Now, this is going to surprise Tanya. I'm on my way back from Kakaya. Yeah, I've just walked to the, um, I've just trekked to, and I've decided to hire this. So I've got a good deal. 
uh, for four days. Four days hire was about a hundred pounds. That's 25 pound a day. And everyone else is double that. Uh, I think there's a couple of marks in on it, so it's not brand new, but. So yeah, I've got that now, four days. So we can get around and that's great. Well, I've been gone an hour. Just saw the camels, decided that thing's a death trap. I'm not joking guys, nearly got killed on it. All the suspension's gone, so I've come back and I'm changing it for this. Oh, she went well. That's fine, I'm glad I changed it. Anyway, I've come to the private little beach that Tanya's come to now. I have no idea where she is down there. And she'll go mad for filming her in her full glory, but there you go. Now, I can't scan her in the bar, she's not in the bar. So there's a shopper. So where is she? Found her, she doesn't know I'm looking. Tan! Tanya! Hello! <laughs> Found you! Uh -oh. Have a good day! Crikey, crikey Tanya, is that big enough? Baked uh, potato? It's one huge jacket wow. potato! I just wanted a light lunch <laughs> after me walk. Oh, you've earned it after you walk. Feeding the fish. So I can get take it out of my hand. So this is my ride home. Yes, it is today. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Ready? Okay, ready. <laughs> so guys, guys we're, at, we're at the buzz bar and really coincidentally I mean I don't know how many thousand miles away from home we are but a lady's messaged and said she uh, has been following us at home um, and uh, she's been using some of the methods on her horses and whatever she said oh said uh, I'm in the, we're in the same area, you know, as in like just down the road. So we've uh, arranged to uh, have a drink, uh, have a meet up and no doubt chat about horses as Looking well as other things. very sharp after your shave and your oh, haircut. Yes, I know, I know. Lovely job. Hey guys, he turned up. Here she is. Helen. So we've had a lovely couple And of she's drinks. convinced us to do a clinic yes, in up, up in north. Up north. Up north. Near, near Blackpool area. Oh, That's we love Blackpool, area. don't we? We're going to have a chat about sorting something out later in the year. Uh, come on, Dave. Okay. Come on, Dave. Please, okay. Dave. Musician this is, Dave. This is okay. Dave. And, and what's, the, what's your band, what's Dave? The band's name, the band's name is the Horton Weavers, which is well known in the north of England. Not Check so it good. out, guys. Check it out. Little plug. Little plug. He's a great bloke. Well, I've said to Dave, if Helen comes on a ranch day, Dave can come and sing. Yeah, we'll. There you go. Oh, what do you reckon about that? Yeah. Anything for that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I've come to the entertainment tonight. Tanya didn't want to come. So this is Thursday. We came Tuesday, early as of Tuesday. But oh, she's ready. Look. She's ready to go. <laughs> so yeah, this is Thursday. And today, where are we off, Tan? Doing a little bit of shopping. Find the GGs. Find the GGs, yeah. We're gonna find the first um, lot of uh, horse, the horse centre we're gonna go to. Yeah. <laughs> How's that, all right? Scary. Is it scary? <laughs> when you're getting up here, it's what it's Is it? Yeah. <laughs> How much is it? 25 pounds. 25, 25 quid for two or one? Hey, you got some money. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy your ride? Yeah, Don't video really. me getting off there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a copy of it. <laughs> she wants a disclaimer. <laughs> you could airdrop it. 
Yeah, I could air drop it to you. <laughs> Look at that. Well done, Molly. Oh, it's Molly. Her name's Molly. Molly. We've got a Molly, but it's a horse. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks that's an horse. He thought it was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> What's the value uh, in pounds? What's the value of one of these? I don't understand. What? Yeah. Value. Um, Worth how much? Uh, how, Twenty. How much? Uh, yeah, no, like the, the, uh, the camel. The camel value in in Ah, four thousand pounds. Okay. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, that's <laughs> well done. I think you're brave, Yay, you are. Well done. I think she's really brave. Oh. Well done. Well done. Brilliant. So they're uh, about four thousand pounds. Yeah. Uh, value yeah. in Turkey. Yeah. Wow. And they look in good condition, don't they? They're of very course, looked yeah, after. Good condition. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we, we, this is Molly. Yeah. Molly. <laughs> this we, is Molly. We have a horse. It's Molly. In England, oh, this we is have Molly. four horses. Yeah. We have a Molly as well. We oh, have Molly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if I try to touch that, bite. Oh. <laughs> well, she don't want. Look, she can touch this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this yeah, is the the biggest character. This one. She has a serbs character. Yeah. Yeah. That Molly. Yeah. And they can do many miles. In uh, day like uh, 80 kilometers. I don't know. 80 right. kilometers, that's about 60 miles. 60 miles, no problem, 80. Yeah. But you go, you go down slowly. Yeah, you can ride. Yeah, wow. But not like this one. Not that one. This, is, this one is for us. Oh, okay. Normal Arabic people dig from here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. We are Turkish people. You use them with a the halter? No. We have a little stick. Yes. Okay. When you show him from the left side, you go right. When you show him from the right side, you go left. Oh. Okay. So, coffee break, and then you're going to go on the camel? I'm contemplating, Sadia. So, you got your bike I wouldn't have minded having an actual ride, but I don't think they, they would let you do that. But he, did you notice he, he said, that when they show the stick on the left, they go right. Well, that's just like, I mean, there's some system horsemanship methods where they push push on the eye a little bit. So that's similar. Um, but uh, shall I? So yeah. I always wanted to, to to sit on a camel just to feel. Apparently, the the uh, the weirdest feeling is actually getting up. But they're looking great. Yeah, because condition. they have to lie down to get on yeah. and lie down to get yes, off. Yes, yes, yes. But it, I know the ground yeah. looks hard, guys, but it's, they are under sand. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything negative about that because that's, yeah. they're looked after yeah. um, and he's named them and that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And I, what, I, and it, I want you to sit to on To be mine. honest. I want you to sit on mine. Okay, mine. to be honest, um, when, you th when you think, you know, it helps them look after the animals, doesn't it? People it like us, yeah. Pay hey? and uh, and it's just a leisurely walk or whatever. So yeah, pretty much gonna kind of, I think. So a quick coffee break. I've yeah. got fresh orange juice just made. Fresh squeeze. Just come on the moped. A bit hair raising on the gravel. Well, we go steady, but it opens up your heart. You know, you, you can see more. Listen, I've been going on the back of your bike since I was fifteen. Oh. Tanya's gonna go nuts. I found this old photo. Look, that is Tanya at about sixteen, and that was my bike. I was seventeen. Uh, but yeah, she was a biker chick and has always has been really ever since. But uh, yeah, she'll go mad. Hey, Tanya. Yes, biker chick. I was a biker chick. Okay, and then hold. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Funny. <laughs> I asked for a canter, no good, he said. <laughs> okay, that's great. What's that? That's their, uh, this is uh, yeah. this one is the she, she do it this she don't do it okay. wow. oh that they're different uh, breeds of yeah them. very different okay, yeah. oh, 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 I, I think you did very well my friend yeah they're, they're not easy are they
Oh, oh yeah, she saw a snake. Yeah, Which one? That, this one. This one, yeah. That, uh, big snake. Yeah. There you go, guys. If you're doing some research, there's more than likely a biker. Ottoman biker. Ottoman biker. Look at that. I have seen them not quite that big over the mountain, but that's probably what that camel saw. Wow. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? Time? Yeah, she saw a snake yesterday. And it's, uh, so it's made her a bit edgy today. Lovely. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, it's good. What do you think you're going to get on? Uh, no. What? Because you're brave, I'm not. Oh, look at the parrot. Oh, the parrot. Oh, the parrot. Yeah. You want to do with them? No, we don't. No, do you don't. No, you can't. No. I, don't, I don't get on with birds. You're scared. <laughs> I, I had one. And we had a parrot. He bit my ear. And nearly... <laughs> no, it's very friendly. I know. But... Alex know. is my baby. Alex? Yeah. Hello, Alex. Do you want me to take the chair then? Huh? No, it's fine. I just want to see Alex the parrot. Camel riding. I've always wanted to have a sit on a camel. And I mean, I didn't go that far really on the camel. And I would have liked to have had a little ride myself, but that didn't happen. Um, I, are they comfortable? Absolutely not. How people can travel across the desert like Lawrence Arabia and uh, I have no idea because the movement is horrid. Um, guys, horses were made by going for us to ride because the Cumberber horse is in a different league. Camels, the, the movement of the body is so much, you're just constantly rocking and it's just a horrible feeling to ride a camel. That's in my opinion, you know. Uh, so just be careful how far you go if you, if you end up riding a camel. And getting on and off is very weird because you're very high. Now, as for carrying capacity, the guy was telling me they can carry whole, you know, he puts a whole family on him, three or, he's even had four or five kids on him. You know, they do carry a lot of weight. You have to go slow, but they'll go for, for, for a long, 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 long uh, distance. Uh, but no, not for me. Camels, definitely not for me. But they are characterful. I mean, uh, yeah. First horse place. This is the first horse place we're pulling into. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Hello. Anyone speak English? Yes. Oh. Yeah, just take one hour. Um, for one hour somewhere, just have a walk. And we have we have uh, five horses at home. This horse here. What? Bri what, bri what breed are they? Uh, Hungarian. Oh, Hungarian. Hungarian. Can we just film for our for ourselves? Can we film this? Yeah. So, this which one is Hungarian? This, this one. Hungarian. Hungarian horses. Yeah, it's also a Turkish horse, but his name is Aragon. Oh, okay. So this is a Turkish horse. You're gonna ride this um, one? Wow. Two hundred Turkish lira. What's how much? A tenner. Ten pounds. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. One time. Um, yeah, it's very cheap. I give him a little more. Yeah. Tell him I give him a little more. No problem. Because <laughs> we have um, horses at home and we know how much yeah. they cost. It uh, is like a brand uh, for him, so the price is not important yeah. for him. Ah. Yeah. Only, uh, he loves his look after he, he loves he his, his horses. His yes. Life. Saw wow. this and if you like horses, that's good for him. Ah, oh, that's nice. And do they all live here? Hmm? They all live here? Yes. Yes? Okay. There's no... Then there's no... you want, you can come tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, you, uh, he will be here. Look at this one. Oh, hello. He's a sturdy thing, isn't he? There you go, mate. There you go, mate. <laughs> there you go, mate. There you go, mate. Hey? You have a nice mane as well, hasn't it? Yeah. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. <sighs> and then there's... Uh, this is a little little one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not blinkers. This one's prob probably a little bit nervous. Oh, yeah. I would have thought. Yeah, a bit jumpier. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. 
Guys, just like just like in the UK, kids loving a little ride on them. Um, no different. That guy there owns all the horses, and he just loves horses. And he's he's doing he's allowing me, showing him some pictures of my horses at home. Very rare. He's letting me take a horse out tomorrow for a little gentle ride out um, in the morning. So, that's great. And this is another horse. Another horse, please. So then have a look. This is a traditional Turkish little cafe. Oh, they've got eight chairs. Steve will be happy in one of those. And they've got little puppy dogs running around. Little puppy dogs. So I've had a regular white coffee and Steve ordered a Turkish coffee. Just to try. Do you realise how strong that's going to be? Look guys. You can stand your spoon at thick. Now. Traditional Turkish because he gave us a choice. I'm going to try this now. Very strong. Very You'll be rich. buzzing. Have a look. No. That is really strong. It's like a Medihan. No, that's stronger than that. But it's very... There is a niceness to it. Yeah? No, there's a niceness to it. Yeah? Thanks for the hospitality. You have very beautiful eyes. Thank ah, you so much. <laughs> Your heart. <laughs> yeah, you got it? Yeah. I think you're doing video, huh? Yeah. I saw. Okay, that's it. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Anytime, welcome here, guys. Yes, no problem. No problem. Um, we just wanted to see. So, today's video, guys. It's about the tracking centre in Turkey. Yes, <laughs> and I found you an egg chair. And guess what? It doesn't squeak. No, it doesn't, does it? Yes, I think we need to put some oil on our. So we'll see the uh, horses come back in 20 minutes. So, guys, the uh, owner um, who Tanya just uh, was mesmerised by, <laughs> um, he was so nice to us. I mean, I just talked to him about I showed him one picture of a horse we'd got at home and uh, he, he he was really nice now the horses are due back in about i don't know i think about 10 minutes now he's he's got about 30 odd horses um so we're gonna just wait for those to come back and just have a look at them coming back and, and whatever but it, this place is really nice guys much better than i i thought it would be uh, these horse places they really care for the horses from what i've seen so far uh, he's actually got an arena little arena there so people can take lessons in there a few of them. Obviously that guy's the guide. All matching numbers. Look at that. Oh look, a little fold following his brother. Oh. Now I know a lot of people, we've already had messages from people asking what did I think, is it, is it nice enough for people to go to ride a horse in Turkey? Now all I can say is that, uh, it's probably three establishments I went to and I didn't see any, to, I, didn't, I was quite surprised, I didn't see any abused horses as such and if someone asked me the place to actually go and have a little ride in Turkey is the place that I've just been there. Okay, now it's in, it's a horse trekking centre in Hisaranu, Hisaranu, which is near Alden East, only a few kilometres from where we stopped down in the valley. Now, what a lovely place to go. You, you can go there, you can ride, those horses are all in great condition. Uh, the, the, the guy there allowed me to go and have a look at them and, and that, and you know, when they put them all underneath the cover there, there was no horses pinning their ears. It, it, they didn't seem in any distress. They, for Turkey, from what I've seen in the past years ago, they, they were all in good condition. So I would 
yeah, I would recommend you go and have a ride there. So that's the horse trekking centre in Hisarana. That big guy who owns the place, he's a lovely chap, speaks great English. He'll talk to you about horses all day long. And you know, you've got the restaurant there, his restaurant, which does traditional feed. I didn't finish that coffee, by the way. It was just too much for me. So order normal coffee if, 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 you, if you do that, okay? Um, now, he did say to me, if people wanted to go and ride there, the average ride outs, uh, you go and they go in line, the horses, that's what they used to do it. So you wouldn't be, other than the walk trot, and I think on some rides, they do do a little canter on one part of the ride, if you want to. Now, um, you go through areas of interest, depending on what, what size ride you want, they'll go through some places which are like old, um, you know, old remains of buildings and things from a long time ago. So it's very interesting. You can also pay extra money and ride on a Turkish horse that's individually trained, a little bit like probably hours are trained. You wouldn't have somebody like balancing their, 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 their weight in the reins of our horses because they get really upset. So you can book a lesson on a Turkish horse in the, that arena. Uh, it's n not that popular that people do it, but at least you've got the option if you want to ride a better horse and then if he thinks you can ride okay, you have an individual guide then, and you can go out for a, for, for a better ride. So yeah, that's the place I'd recommend, of the place I went to, uh, and you'll see what's coming up in a minute as well, uh, horse-wise. So. Yeah. So what that trip. is, this Ford, it's an old Ford F, I believe it's 250 or 350. Wow. It might not be old actually. Well, look at that. I love these big trucks. It is Power Stroke 6.7 B20. I don't know if any of my American friends will know. Oh, it is a 350. There you go. It is a 350. I thought 250 or, or 350. I don't know what the age would be of this, but it's, it's the one with the arch kit. I remember seeing one of these in Florida at a raining event once. Oh, it's just bike time. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's very gravelly, it's just a bit steady. So, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Tanya says, oh, you never sit with me out in the sun anymore. So I'm gonna say, oh, I'll, I'm gonna find her now and I'll do an hour. I'll sit there and suffer the sun for an Gotta find her first. Is that gonna be a shot over there? Smash. 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 Found her. Woo. Anya. <laughs> Don't film me. Oh, hello. <laughs> How do you think today went? Oh, today's been a great day. Have you enjoyed it? Have you enjoyed it today? Really good. Um, tomorrow's going to be great. I, mean, I must admit, really impressed with that both the horse places went to today and the camels and it's a great day now tomorrow's going to be interesting isn't it um <laughs> very rarely do do they let do that does that guy with the few horses you know the guy who just loves horses the old guy he doesn't let people go out on his own and after showing him pictures of my own horses they've allowed me to go tomorrow now, <laughs> do you think she'll go on her own well we were told the, the, the guy that speaks english said he doesn't know if I'll be able to, to ride the horse out. Doesn't know if it if the horse will go because they don't they're not ridden out. I'll tell you what no. you can do. What? Have a little whisper in his ear. Uh, uh, if it if the horse doesn't want to go out, I'm not gonna you know, I'm not gonna get onto that horse at all. So it you know, I'll see if I can coax her out. I think once she's out or he is out, I'm not even sure it's a mare or girl's in. Uh, Hello, are we going down to the supermarket? To get a bag of Carrots, carrots and apples, and apples. <laughs> but we're not going to give those horses those until I've come okay. back because if you start feeding them that the horse ain't going to want to go at all but if I can get out I'm going to get off pretty soon when I see some nice grass and get back on and have a little just have a little laze see whether the horse can enjoy it and uh, uh, you know and just have a chat with the old guy again through that interpretator because he was good with English wasn't he? Very good. Uh, so that's tomorrow and after tomorrow I've promised you two days then 
We'll chill out. We'll chill out. That's good. So we're going to go and get the apples and carrots now, are we? Yes. And then pretty much that's it. So that's it. What a lovely holiday we're having, Tan. Amazing. Lovely. Old, old Denise Turkey. Yeah, we love it. Great place. And the weather's been amazing. I've had today, I went for a Turkish bath and she was so lovely. I said, you do massage? Yes. So I had a lovely <laughs> massage as well. I'll treat you to a massage if you want no, one. No, I don't want one. No, she was amazing. No, tomorrow as well in the afternoon. My plan is to take my little 150 on oh, down. up the hill. Right up to the top. And it's amazing where they take off for the... Um, Paragliding. They didn't do it today, though, did they? No, it was too windy. Because it was very windy today. Too windy. Let's go then. Okay. Adios. Come here. Come on. New lights. Come on. <laughs> Thursday night entertainment. 9:30. What is it? No idea. It's 9.30 in the morning, we've had a bit of breakfast, now we're off to ride the horse. So, um, Tadja did say she put the apples in under the seat. So. And she has, there's all the nice apples. I'm going to get going, where is she then? Where is she? Western saddles for me today. Oh, a bit of English for you today. A little bit. <laughs> so some people might be surprised you're seeing me hand feeding there. People who know me know that I don't advocate that. Uh, you know, I go out to loads and loads of horses that are just, you know, they are, they're not sure in the totem pole where they are and they push into people's faces. A lot are hand fed, you know, like lots of treats and it's part of the problem. Now, I know a lot of uh, training systems, they use feed with, with the clicking and all that, and they, a, lot of, a lot of them do very well at it, but it's not, it's not for me, you know, we all train differently. But you will see me hand feeding these horses. We took some apples with us, and basically everybody that goes around all those horses tip bit them constantly. So it makes no difference in the moment. There's nothing gonna change with me not giving them ham feeding or ham feeding them because it's a constant thing so we got there we've got some time to pass we've got some nice apples and that's what we're doing there but as i could say you'll see me doing it i don't advocate it uh because the most horse i go to it's the last thing they need uh okay i thought i'd just oh look at grumpy hey, mate, what do you... what's the matter with you mate what's the matter with you mate what's the matter with you you're a bit grumpy you're a bit grumpy he says, I don't want to be ridden. He says, I never heard about you. <laughs> You're always early. You always like to be early, don't you? It's like going to view a horse, isn't it? Yeah. Get there early. Or a car. <laughs> that must be 10 foot across. Wow, and there's doves, look. look. The doves at the back, two white doves. Oh, there's another peacock there. Oh, there's lots of peacocks. Look at them showing off. Lovely. Yeah. Vi's watching you. Look, it's like the Turkish eye. They put the Turkish eye on to protect anybody oh, that's right. staring. Yeah. And they look like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's good you paid him yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! But this is interesting. Look, these, these are shepherd's huts. I mean, I've just had a shepherd's hut built. They're actually on wheels, look. See the wheels, see the wheels and the chassis. So that's their idea of a shepherd's hut, so they can move this way they want. Yeah, look at that. Poiras. Poiras. Uh, it's na name's Poiras. Poiras. Uh, so it's ah. not the one I thought was right. Oh, okay. Um, but they're a hardy little breed. Yeah, yeah, that? yeah. Um, let's see this. So this is, um, let's check which bit it is. It's just a, a, a like snaffle. a snaffle, something uh -huh. to a snaffle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here we're, here's where it gets interesting. 
the horse I was told I would be riding, which was quite a big, the big, bigger white horse, you know, when, when I stood next to that, that's, you know, probably about 15, 15 to. Uh, got, turns out that because these horses are all ridden out in line, uh, the guy didn't think um, I would be able to ride the horse out or it would perform if it was going to leave the others because they're always pretty much together all around that little area. Uh, so it turns out he he thought I should ride his better horse. This, this, it's the one that he, he kind of rides out himself now and again. So that's why suddenly there's a change. I'm riding uh, Boyrus, Poirus. He's his he's main horse. Uh, it's a lot smaller horse, but uh, you know, he, he, that horse carries a lot of bigger people out. Usually just walk, walking a bit of trotting. So I, um, so I had to ride his Poirus. Uh, so that's the first change of the day and there's other changes coming as well, which are quite funny. Okay, in a sec. Feels quite sturdy, actually. Mm -hmm. They are a sturdy, sturdy breed. All right. Yeah. What's his, na his name again? His name? Boiras. 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 No problem. No, no problem. No. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <Right> again. <laughs> try and video it all guys but Steve will just put clips of it in or else it'll be too long. Lots of little restaurants. Little restaurants. Traditional Turkish food. <laughs> Perhaps he thinks you're gonna run off with his horse. Tanya's fair play to Tanya. She's she's following, and uh, the guy, the, the the owner, he's staying in front of me, right? Right, staying in front of me. And I don't know if you noticed that, because I'd been I'd been riding for about twenty minutes behind him, and I kept looking at Tanya. You know, is he going to be following me for a couple of hours? You know, like leading me for a couple of hours. Uh, so what I'd been doing, you know, no disrespect. You got to remember that these horses are used by a lot of people. So they're not going to be light, are they? They're not going to be light to your hands. So I'd spent about a quarter of an hour just because the horse was dead to my to my hands and dead to my leg. Okay, uh, very very hard in the mouth. Uh, I think they get used to like ignoring because they're in line. They ignore any input from a rider. They just shut, block out, tune out, and just go forward. So I'd been practicing with my with with my legs, my cues that I use. So to go right above my left leg behind the girth, a little bit of weight in the right hand side, and then pick my rein up a little bit and wait for gives. Now it started off really, 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 obviously there was nothing there. And then a breakthrough was coming because I was giving him periods of complete looseness, just giving him a little rub on his neck. Do you know what, about 15 minutes, bingo, the horse Boyrus was starting to follow a feel with me, uh, which is one of the, one of the, my, the goals was to, to really take a horse that, you know, was zoning out really, and to see whether the horse eventually would listen. Uh, and he was, I was over the moon with how he was starting to respond and become a little bit nicer nicer to ride. So you, you heard me say there, yes, good horse, let me go, look, you know, let me go. And my plan then was to, to film myself as it was all going and go in the countryside and and do some filming like that, which I do do a little bit, but uh, it, it just gets a little bit funny. So that's it. He's not, at the moment, he's not trusting me to take his good horse out of sight, really. Which you can't blame him, you know, because he lives for those horses. Poros. Poros is his name. At the little bar. It reminds me um, so much of Spain. This in the back here, so much of Spain. Reminds me of Spain. Car. Now this 
is hilarious. What's just going to happen now? I didn't know Tanya got it on on, on film, to be honest, because it happened a few times with with um, Boyrus. And in the past, after speaking to a couple of people after, you know, sometimes the horses go back. There's, n there's no stopping. Once they turn around, you, they kind of zone you out and they take you back, back to his little, uh, to the stables. And he did try a couple of times. Now this one's on film and he had a, he had a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a go of turning around. Uh, and uh, it's good to watch, to see, you know, how I dealt with that. Hi, dear boy, guys. Okay, come on. Hi there. <laughs> you got to leave this in the blog. He says he don't want to go back. Hi there. Yeah. Hi there. No, no problem. No, no problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got that. He's so used to going back. He's so used to going back. He said, "No, you want to go back? You go back." No problem. No problem. <laughs> it's hard to do it that way, but I'll try. Yeah, because that's, that's worked out for him as well. Yeah, when he turns around, back. Again, traditional Turkish food. A bit lighter. Is he? You can't be too light for anyone else to ride. Oh dear. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Okay, lock it, just get in. Does he need a leg up? Whee! Uh, these, you want me to put these up for you? Up. Oh. So, I can't do a lot. I'm behind. I'm behind this fella, playing around with getting a little bit lighter. Um, if I try, you know, if I slowed up, he he'd look back and wait, and he, you know, there was no getting away from him at this point. So I I come up with this idea. What a great little addition to see how this fella rides, to see what his cues are, you know. Um, so someone in Turkey. Traditional Turkey. This is not like the riding school. This is out out in the sticks, as you'd say. A guy respected in the area for his for his horsemanship skills. Uh, a little bit like you know, I go to problem horses. He the the the, the interpreter was telling me people you know he, he is a horseman of the area, and I thought it'd be nice for people to see how they ride and what leg cues, if any, they use. How they the rain management. So I asked him to get up, and he was quick to get to get up. And I, I kind of explained the sign language, me just see how you, uh, so this would be interesting for you, for you to see how an, an average uh, Turkish horseman, uh, uh, you know, would ride, ride their horses. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we watch, we follow. I hear. Yeah, yeah, we follow. Perfect. Yeah. No, he's a little club. No. Look how far his feet are forward. Feet forward, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. So they ride feet forward. Interesting. Not much contact, which is good. Yeah, I thought he would have a bit more contact than that. Yeah, it's good. But yeah, feet forward, see? So okay, guys, I've, this is from the book Zephanon. It's the earliest ever um, written book. The way it's been put into a book now from a famous horse trainer. I think he was Greek. He might have been Turkish actually. Uh, and these are some. I've got a few pictures. Now, if you look at where the legs are there, they're forward, aren't they? Like that gentleman's forward again there from the same walk. Accentuated forward there with the ancient riders. Wow. And these are not pictures. These are found on on walls, ancient walls. And look at all the leg positions there. Everyone, way forward, just again, like that horseman was. So it's a very old-fashioned way of riding. A lot more than what we would. Um, and let's see how he stops. And stop. Oh, he, ah, so he, so he shushes to us. And, and, and back a little, a little back. 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 Big, 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 big. Look. Yeah, so no, 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 no. Back. Uh, forward and then, yeah, let's see. Shh. 
shush ah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, more. <laughs> Press. Yeah, Press. Uh, oh, okay, back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Step forward. So, clock clap for forwards, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh, and then Wee! a little clap for trot. And stop. So it's a shh for yeah. stop. Yes. Excellent. So they use a lot of verbal yeah. commands. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So they use a ver definite verbal command to stop, which is a shush mm -hmm. sound and mm -hmm. shush for back. And we'll ask him in a minute how he uses his legs for turning. Because it, uh, we were talking to some people and this guy, he's supposed to, you know, he's classed as a great, you know, in the, in the area he's classed as a, a, a great horseman, you know, a rider of horses. So it's interesting to just see different different types of rider. I know a lot of the gypsy, like the Roman and gypsy community ride with their legs forward like this gentleman is. That's really interesting. Stop. Perfect. Um, I think it's more hands. It's more hands. Yeah. And this way, I just want to see where his leg. Yeah, no legs. Yeah. No legs, it's hands. the reins. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. What was that? Hey, go on, yes. Clap. No, what did he do? No, he said your turn. No, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. She won't. No, no, no. No, no, no. She won't. I, won't. I try. No, no, she said no. But this is perfect. Us watching you, perfect. Motorbike's not a problem. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. He just got the drop on him as well. Look, he just got the drop on him. He surprised him with that one. It wasn't. But he's so used to doing that, isn't he? He just well, took a side. dive for a... Uh... Look at that. What are you <laughs> Tanya's been like that for thousands of years. It has. Hasn't been it? Years ago. They still do it. There. Yeah, yeah. And then he pulls up. And he put... There's no leg at all. Um, so they ride with no, no, very little leg. Interesting, that's why the legs are forward, I think. They don't rely on the legs for much at all. Oh, that's true, because they're not touching the Yeah, that's really interesting. What you got there? My jasmine. Oh, uh, let me smell it. I don't know. Oh, it's no, I don't You keep on that. Mm. Oh, yes, it is jasmine. nice, isn't it? Pardon? This? Wow, fantastic. They're old, very old. Video it. I know, I know they say the cave houses, which these are really, they would be very cool in the summer. Tanya's down there, there's the horseman. So, oh my life, they're small. But that's how it would have been. Probably a bed there. Because people were very small. But I reckon people were so small. But I find it fascinating. I really do. What you found there, sir? Porcupine spikes. There's porcupines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that's not what... That's lemon, but they also, I think they also That's are. lemons. Well, yeah, the smells here is unbelievable. Oh, no, isn't it? Takes me back to Spain again. Here. 
dog up on the left. Yeah. So I, I keep looking back, I've got back on now, um, I've got the stips quite high, I didn't bother, I just rode at his uh, length there. But every time I'm looking back at Tanya, she's going as if, go on, go on. I thought, oh, oh. And so I started quickening, quickening Boris's walk up a little bit, and he's kind of going back a little bit. I had a little trot as well, a little trot, and he's further back. And then I thought, oh, I'll go for it, just... Just, so I kind of went went off quite away. And he's kind of scuttling to keep up. And he's, Tanya said he's muttering all sorts, uh, you know, talking to himself, um, probably swearing. And Tanya then said to him, me, me, don't leave. And, and like said she couldn't keep up. So he was kind of, and next thing you know, I've, I've gone. I've gone, it's too far. And apparently he's still muttering away. So I, I you know. I carry on then, um, I do a little bit of filming. He was getting, cause I was using my legs a lot and then I could really experiment. I tried a few stops. It was better if I shushed, but I was getting to a stage where he was stopping a lot better. Uh, and I really enjoyed the next kind of 20 minutes on my own really. Uh, so that, that's, that was quite funny. Uh, no harm come to his horse. Uh, and uh, you'll see a couple of clips of that now. So yeah, I'm out. Okay, I'm not in the, in the forestry area doing what I planned, but at least I'm on my own. Riding a Turkish horse, you know, in the war, in, in real Turkey, aren't I there really? So, yeah. He gone. <laughs> so, I've been practicing guys with a little bit of light, lightness, uh, with the legs and I, I'm, gobsmacked at the difference you know just just by some simple releases and it, it's in some ways not fair because everyone's going to balance on this fella uh, they're going to they're gonna be balancing on his face but it's re really interesting really interesting for me just to see what sort of uh, lightness i can get uh what what if i could make a difference or not but that's a uh, turkish horse there that's through the ears of a Turkish horse, and uh, I've really enjoyed this this uh, little trip. And we've got as we got the apples when we get back. Uh, it was interesting seeing how uh, that horseman rides with his without legs and whatever, and, and uh, yeah, really interesting. Uh, I think I can tell he's he's getting <laughs> he's getting a bit more lively now, so he knows he's nearly home. Perhaps you heard me say about the apples. The sign, I'm actually a little bit lost. I'm quite away, I've lost them now. A little bit. So guys, I just jumped off now. Just jumped off now. We've just gone past an arena and loads of horses there. So I think there's more horses than I ever thought there would be, to be honest, in Turkey. Or, Quite. Now that's like a square arena. See what the footing is. It's like a, it's like a dark, sandy, dusty stuff. Hey, you said it's a riding school. It's a children. riding school, so they're all playing. Look, and yeah. then they have a ride on the ponies. Um, guys, I think you might have noticed he's got one, one shoe missing, but uh, we've got very hard feet and. This gentleman's just told me he he does his own shoeing. He's always done it all his life. That's in here now. Little school, look. There's school. everything. I thought this was a tiny little, little village, school. but little there's more here, isn't there, do you think? Yeah. Too little for smoking. <laughs> Hello. Did I break? <laughs> Hi. Apples. 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 A leaf. Where you want? Where you want? Gifts for the horses, apples. Okay. Okay, okay. Bye.
By hand, please. Okay. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. There you go, mate. Now, you know I don't hand feed, but they get hand fed all the time here. So, that's it. Would you like that one more? Extra for you. No, 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 for the horses, yes. It's fantastical. Yes. Very enjoyed very much. Very good for us. Okay. So we'll see you, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We really to be honest, we really enjoyed it. It didn't go as I planned, but we really enjoyed the time we was there. And the guy thinks the world of those horses, hasn't got much money. Uh, so, you know, any, any, you know, I would suggest if you find that place, which is near a place called Kakakoi, which is by the ghost town with a deserted village. And there was no, no helmets there. They'd gone off to be cleaned. There wasn't, apparently it wasn't until the afternoon he'd got a party going there to ride. So that's why you, you don't see me wearing a helmet. I don't advocate that at all. Uh, I almost thought I should have put my, um, my, a moped mo motorbike helmet on uh, and if I did that again I would have uh, I just didn't give it a thought I was you know just just in the moment with the, with the horse there so don't uh, do that uh, if you can help it uh, so you wait obviously for the helmets but you know I, I think the other place for riding is where I'd recommend to go uh, as a party of you or, or whatever so yeah that's it we'll move on with a little bit more of the video now um, and I will say that Without a doubt, um, using my legs and well time releases was making Boris much more responsive and better for him. Uh, and the tail swishing was starting to reduce. I noticed the tail swishing got worse when uh, the gentleman was on. And I'm totally convinced when you use, you know, it's riding by the seat, seat legs and seat, uh, definitely suits a horse better than pulling them too much in the mouth. So that was what I was intending to achieve. Yes, definitely, uh, without a doubt, legs and seat, way of riding that suits suits a horse the best. So, okay. Well, that's not a sight you see every day. A tortoise. I haven't seen one of them for ages. Hello, mate. Look at that. Hello, mate. <laughs> I find them fascinating, I do. Come on, mate, get off the road. Get off the road. There it is. <laughs> so I'm not even at the top yet. My little bike's flying up here. But look at that. Look at those views. Absolutely amazing. The ocean's down there. Still got further to go to get to the takeoff point. But look at that there. See the white there? That's all snow. Yeah, look. That's all snow. That's obviously an old, you know, when it's rained. Waterfall. That's thick snow, that is. Oh, now you wouldn't want to be falling off the edge of that. That's what you've got to be careful of. There's no curbs, really. So if you do come up here, go careful. If you can get up here in the cable car as well, it might be a better option for most people. Well, I've made it to the top. And that's where the cable car is and where they take off, but I've just been, I've just been <laughs> told I can't go any further. Oh, oh, Alright then, let's go and find Tanya for a bit of lunch, eh? You had a good day today, Tan? I've had a lovely day. Oh yeah, your hair looks nice. Oh, I just had it blow dry. Yeah. Can't yeah. go wrong for six quid. There's only a couple of days left. I'll tell you what, Tan, thanks for filming today. You've walked miles. <laughs> oh, <what a> filming <laughs> me I, on the Good job I put my trainers on. Hey, yeah. is it? Good job I put my trainers on. Well done, that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, hairy, so what are we doing a hair, tonight? A hairy bike ride. Oh yeah. Um, so tonight then we are not going to eat in the usual hotel here. No, 
this is our hotel. Yeah. We're all so what we're doing tonight. So we're going to go next door apparently, and it's oh, where right. they do lovely steaks, and I'm going to have a Caesar salad. Yeah, I, 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 I fancy long steak, so. Look, there's millions still up there. And this is our bar, look, all inclusive, so we could stay yeah. here till all day. Get as drunk, drunk as we want. Yeah, you know, you know the saying. You know the saying. When you're old, you, you can't get too drunk. <laughs> Right then. Yeah. Uh, right then, so tomorrow I'm, I've got a couple of days with you, but can I go in the morning to my archaeological site? Yeah. Where they used to do the I'm chariot racing. I'm going to go racing. up to because I've got to get a couple of little things. Alright, so that's tomorrow sorted. We've still got tonight to go to. <laughs> breakfast. Lovely. Lovely. And Italian breakfast. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Cracking Tanya. Yeah. Uh, Fruit for you. Did you enjoy that? It's lovely. It wasn't, uh, we skipped the hotel breakfast today. Yeah. And we've come up to a place called, I always get the name wrong, but what is this? Pissarano. Pissarano, it's the town about, it's about 10 kilometres, isn't it? Up, you come up a big hill uh, and things are a lot cheaper here, isn't it, for shopping and, yeah. and that. And uh, But today, you're, I've, we've come up on the little motorbike and you're off back on a bus in a bit. Yeah. And you're, taxi. What, what are you doing today? Do a little bit of shopping. Oh, I thought he was going to say beach. Oh yeah, when I get home, yeah, I'm going to pop to the beach. Well guys, I'm going to a historical site. It's about 40 kilometres-ish. A place called Tilos. Was it Tilos? Tilos. Yeah, Tilos. Um, yeah. Apparently it's an amazing site. So I'm heading off down there. Uh, do a couple of clips of that. I really, I, I know they've got where uh, still a section intact where they used to do the chariot racing. So I'm off there, and then I'm heading back. And hang on, so you've done the camp, you've done the horse. So will we see you on a chariot? <laughs> if they got one there, I'd have a go. <laughs> uh, there's that old saying, isn't it? Oh no, you showed me. You showed me that. Uh, What's that, that saying? What was it? You said yesterday. Look at this. This is you. There was somebody. The, the, the meme you sent me. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm off there. Uh, I'll do a couple of clips there. I'm really looking forward to that. And then I'll meet you down the beach later, is it? And then I've got two days with you then, which is tomorrow, which is Sunday. The bike goes back tomorrow. My little putt putt. And then we've got Sunday. I sit at the sun and get birds. And we go home Monday, but you said we're not going. No, we don't go till late. It's a late till late tonight. Monday. So, so we've got two yeah. days then. So we've got a couple of days. There you go. So having a good time? Yeah, I'm having an amazing time. All right. Then. So uh, awesome. have we got a date later on the beach then? Yeah. I'll yeah. see you there. See you there. I'll be square. <laughs> it's twenty point seven per liter. So that price of fuel that was petrol and that is roughly one english pound for a liter so that's like loads loads cheaper than we're at the moment and it works out just works out now very quickly 5.85 six dollars for a gallon roughly um six dollars a gallon so that gives you an idea of the fuel prices there mm. I don't know if I've done the right thing here. To get to Tilos, the archaeological site I'm going to, this is the first major town I've come to, and I'm I'm wondering if I've done the right thing because I've been pretty much, this is called Fetier. I'm in the middle of a place called Fetier, and I've been cut up that many times, bibbed at. Uh, I don't think it's too, so I'm half thinking about turning around actually. Uh, if the next couple of clips I'm not in this, at that site, you'll never turn around. But uh, no, it's, uh, I wouldn't recommend this, to be honest. Uh, a little bit dangerous. Considering I've just had a full English breakfast, that's very different, isn't it? Look at that. It's traditional.
<laughs> Yay! I've made it. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. Let's get in there and have a look. Right then. Let's go and pay my money. Just before I go in there, this little bike has been absolutely brilliant. It's only got a 150cc engine. It's absolutely flies. Almost, I think, 170 miles to the gallon. Absolutely brilliant. And the roads weren't bad just. I've just done some serious scratching. Now Tanya's not on the back. But, no. Give me a choice. I still prefer mine. Okay guys, so this I have an interest in. That there is the ancient stadium. And if I pan across here, there, there is the, where they actually did all the chariot racing and all of the different displays with the horses. So you can see the center there. So they go around that middle section and then back around. And there you'd all watch. And that could seat uh, t near almost three times as many people as today because I've just been told this is 4,000 years old or parts of it is. Been Roman, it's been all sorts of different. Uh... Houses dug out of the rocks. Thousands of years old. It's another view of the, the horse arena. She said the stables were over there. And that in the background there is the amphitheatre where they used to do the shows. But most of the shows were fighting back then, weren't they? With gladiators. And in the background there, there's still snow. They're still excavating there. Just spoke to a gentleman and said there's been some amazing finds lately. And they're going down, look, six foot, seven foot. And they'll make their way round. And God, goodness knows what they're going to find in there. Wow. And this is an old baths, this is, about two and a half thousand years old. Women weren't allowed to enter apparently, but there was plenty of women in there. <laughs> oh dear. And there's a close-up of the amphitheatre. And that down there, is where you'd see all the fighting, the gladiators, and the lions, and tigers, and all sorts. That's the entrance there, we'd all be queuing up to get in. And you can imagine the atmosphere with 4,000-ish people um, baying to see people slaughter each other. Wow. That was thirsty work, looking around there. So I've got a pure pomegranate juice. That's, Charlotte loves pomegranate. That's the most beautiful drink. That's something you don't see every day. So you've got a moss there. A bird nesting on the top of the dome. What is that bird? Traditional Turkish market. Now have a quick run around. That's like. <laughs> oh, twist it up. You buy all them? Oh, two, oh these are for the chips for the kids. Oh, for the kids. And uh, 650 uh, altogether. Lira. Six hundred, very good price. Okay. Six hundred, <laughs> very good price. You're a good dealer, Tanya. You're a good, dealer. You're a good, you're a good at dealing. You are. I am good at dealing. I'd have paid the full price now, mate. <laughs> she is good at bartering, guys. I've always been rubbish at it. I end up paying more than they ask. <laughs> 10,000 sunglasses. For us all, for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Right then, so. So what, what's tonight then? What, what's special about tonight? Turkish night. Turkish night. Shish kebab. Are you feeling the food you're talking about the, now? Yeah. What yeah, else do I talk about? <laughs> Look at me. Tanya, you soon lose a few pounds when you get back. Oh, you can tell us that a few wines. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking Turkish forward to tonight. Night. And do you know what? Tomorrow, I am going to Sugar Beach. And you're yes. going to join me, are you, please? Yes, definitely tomorrow. Tanya, you've done it again. I can't help it. Here you go, baby. <laughs> They're everywhere again, yeah, Tanya. I, I can't help you it. Give them all my mix. Do you enjoy that, Tan? 
That was so lovely. It's lovely, wasn't it? Right. And this is so, more lovelier. So this is now here. sunset. Uh, oh, dear yeah, mate. Bikini bods. When you're getting your bikini bod out, Tan. That's not happening. <laughs> I think we've done enough today, Tanya. Are we ready? I'm ready for bed. Uh, are you? <laughs> yeah, we, oh, oh, we go then. to bed early, we rise early. Yeah, don't we, we do get up early, don't we? Oh, I'm up early. There you Six go. Then. That's it then. We go in. So, this is the last day, guys. I've just dropped my uh, little Honda off, uh, which was brilliant. I must admit, that really sort of um, got me out and about at the different places. So I've just dropped the Honda off and I've decided to go back on that coastal path but the opposite way. Morning guys. Steve has taken the bike back today and promised me that he'll come and join me in a couple of hours this afternoon. I'm at another beach today. This is Sugar Beach. Very nice. Fish is in the sea. Love. Now I'm coming, now I'm coming the other way past this horrible place that I don't, oh that's old, Let's look at that, that's one of them old dishes, yeah, I hate going past this place, ooh, something happened in there over these centuries or whatever, just imagine can't you, can imagine someone coming out of there, let me have a look, what I can see in there. I bet that frightened you. <laughs> I'm frightened of myself thinking about it. Oh, let's kick that in. And it's one of those beaches there, there, or a couple over there. All I know is it's Sugar Beach. I'm finding her. Yeah, at last. Sugar Beach. That was another couple of two or three kilometres. That's weird. Nice. Thatched. Let's go and find it then. And let's fry for a couple of hours. <laughs> awesome, that. Stay in these little, like, thatched jungle, jungle apartments. <laughs> you imagine monkeys jumping everywhere, don't they? Right then. Oh, shit. Maybe it's a dead marsh, though. We're in little places to sit in. Right then, oh, shit. It's usually down by the sea front. No I need she'd be on the front. There she is at the end, nearly at the end. Hey, this is nice, look at it. That's beautiful. Oh, I'll pad paddle in there in a minute. There we go. Tonight, being picked up tonight, and basically we've got sort of half a day to kill. So uh, today is the special market. It's a tra is it a travelling market, man? Yes. Check that. Should have to buy that now. <laughs> So we've been here two minutes and we've been coloured already. Apparently you get really hassled in there. But, a bit of fun, innit? Thanks. Me make, you make this. I make this uh, she makes shell. It. No, it's fine. Yeah. What else you buy into, Anne? I've got, thank you. One for Charlotte. Yeah, I've managed, she's managed to get, I've managed to get through. <laughs> oh, well done, bye. Bye bye, thank you. <laughs> Peace. What bag is there, Tanya? Oh yeah, a bit of yeah. Louis Vuitton. Four for ten. Four for ten. Is that the price? Is it? Yeah, have a look. Yeah, can't get better than that, can you? No. <laughs> Never trust a skinny cook. That makes sense, I guess. 
So it's four o'clock in the afternoon. We get picked up to go to the airport at seven and I'm currently walking down to from Hirasanu to Aldenese and that's I'm right up high here. That's Aldenese where we stop. You can see it's like in the middle, in the middle of like like a valley, isn't it? Going to the ocean now. So that's Aldenese. We're going home. Yep, yeah, we're off home now. Getting picked up in an hour for the airport. Um, what we got to say, Tan? Been a great week. Amazing. A great really, week. Really we're, good all, fun. we're hopefully recharged now, ready for the busy, busy summer that's coming. Um, and you know what? A lot of people asked us to do this blog. Yeah. We were quite shocked. Loads of personal messages as well. Could we? Could we blog Turkey? It's been no trouble at all. No. We were saying a minute ago, yeah. just doing a few clips like this. Been no trouble at all. Uh, so if this is well received and people enjoy it, or enjoyed seeing a bit of where we were and the horsey bits. And we'll do more when we go away again. I would like to watch it. Um, and me. I can't <laughs> wait to watch it. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun. It was really good um, fun. Yeah, we just wrote down a couple of things, didn't we? Um, so, yeah, we're all recharged. Yeah. We're ready for it. It's going to be busy. Ranch now, when we get back. Saturday. Yeah, ranch day. We've got a clinic in Devon. Uh, Devon. We're off to Devon for a week doing horses down there. A couple of. We have got a couple of spaces available. Because we're doing horses every morning. Yeah, yeah. As, I think well, there's the clinic. two slots available, yeah. and then there's a clinic, obviously, in Devon on the Saturday the 12th. Yeah, yeah. We've got mm. the um, summer camps. We've got a couple of summer camps. Yeah. A lot of horses come. So we've basically got a lot to do this year, um, and I've got other ideas in my head as well, oh which dear. I'll do. A, I'll do. A, you don't oh know dear. about them. Oh dear. Um, yeah. So I'll announce that soon. So yeah. That's it from Turkey. And if you've um, loved this blog, give us a like because yeah. we love it when we have lots of likes, don't we? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like and comment. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we'll do we'll do more. And uh, like I said, there's no trouble to us. So but we certainly had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. So we're off and uh, see you soon. So like usual, happy trails and uh, catch, catch you later. later. Bye.